Hello, hello, and welcome to Super Right Now. <laughs> okay, everything now. moves. Uh, Merry Christmas, a Merry uh, Happy Hanukkah, Happy, happy Kwanzaa, Happy Table Club Day, ha- Happy Table Club Day, Happy Happy all the holidays that you want to celebrate, Happy Food Poisoning, Happy uh, Happy Ten More Pounds, So Many Cakes. <laughs> if you didn't, if you didn't gain a lot of weight during the quarantine, well. Oh, who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> like someone I know. Mm, yeah, but I did play sport for the first time in a very long time, thanks to you today. Yay. Yeah, and then, yeah, I've been lazy all year. I, I know, careful. I, I guess that's what we care. Uh, careful, not lazy. Careful. Well, yes, yeah. But yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't mean that I couldn't like go for a walk every day or do exercise mm. in the outdoors. Yeah. I just decide not to do anything and blame the quarantine and coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get coronavirus, but we are going to the feel. I don't care. I mean, like yeah, but we, 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 like, we had so many doubts for so long. Like, we didn't know. Like, yeah. Remember, like, first month, like, oh, you should not wear a mask. It doesn't help anything. And then everyone was going crazy for the mask. Anyway, anyway, my body hurts. Because of this, we play tennis. We play tennis. And I am proud of myself because after all this time, I didn't forget yeah. how to play. I mean, I, I'm not good. You did not regress. <laughs> no. You did not regress. I'm still in the sock level, <laughs> but not not as much as I thought I was. Beginners. The Beginners. Sock. Yeah, no. Beginners. But no, no, I mean, like you did very good. I think you did like better than the last time we played a month ago. A month ago? No, months oh, yeah, ago. Yeah, you always miss the, the S. Yes, it's really hard. T, H, and S. Months. Months. <laughs> months. But yeah, every part of my body, it's hurting. But yeah. I am happy because we did something. We do. We did exercise. We work out. We were outside. I mean, it was chilly. It wasn't... But it was nice. Yeah, it was super nice. It was so. very nice. And so today we have a big story. A, a big, big a big road movie story, a road story, I would say. Um, okay, it's it's one of my experience, but is oh. like the most. Um, Your first time? No. No. I'm not sure. I really remember that, but um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> you were drunk. The no, the um, it was really special, basically, extremely uh-huh. special, so he- because. It's a road story. It's a scary story. It's an unresponsible story. It's a devoted, committed type of story. And it goes from one country to another. You as an opera? To, see, to, see, <laughs> to go see for the first time on stage my idol of my youth. You know, that's what I was known for when I was a kid. Like everybody was talking about me. We're saying, oh, Pepe, yeah, he loves Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, because that's what I was talking about. Michael Jackson? Yeah. So it, it wasn't clear who? Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. So for the, for the younger uh, generation. generation that is listening to us, and I think we, I, I, I talked about that a little bit before, it's really hard to comprehend nowadays of things were in the 80s or 70s or even the 90s, before the internet came in and it brought your idols or favorite artists closer to you. Before that, anytime we were hearing from them was because of an event. So it was extremely special. And there would be a date and you would know about that and you will wait for it and it will be like such a special date. Yeah, a special time and so a huge event. Which was your first song that you... Listen from uh, Michael Jackson that makes you think like makes you a fan, and why? No, I think there was not like a one one song in particular. No, but you you I must think have the, heard. I think the one that the first one that I've heard when I was a kid, it's because it was around the the I was it was seventy nine, mm-hmm. so it was around the release of uh, uh, the album of the wall. Uh huh. Don't don't stop till you get enough. You know don't that. Stop till you get enough. Exactly. Dun, dun, dun. So that, I think that's one of the first Michael Jackson song that I was really listening to. But then it was unavoid- mm-hmm. unavoidable on the radio anyway. Because imagine if the world was 79 and then the 
The album that sold the most in the world still to this day is Thriller, and it was released in 82. So I was a uh, I wasn't even have one year old. You, you didn't, yeah, you weren't one year old, but it was he was everywhere. You were twenty. He, he was like a god. He was uh, and he was very special. And what I liked about him is because there was some um, some type of magic to it on what he was doing. He was doing things that we were not seeing anywhere else. Like you had great bands, you know, mm -hmm. like the Beatles or Rolling Stone I or mean, Queens or whatever. And but and David Bowie that was kind of extravagant and things like that. But he was at a different level. Yeah, he was put I, I remember in Mexico they were talking all the time about Michael Jackson, especially when he released Black and White Song. Uh, yeah. And it I think it was uh yeah. um that at, was in ninety one. Yeah. yeah, and I think it was the same day all over the world because in Mexico was a big thing. I remember mm -hmm. that everyone it was like seven PM. Yeah. And everyone was waiting for the song and the video. And they were saying like because he was always using like high technology, yeah. always oh, like the, special yeah. effects. The morphing, yes. introduced the morphing. In the so, so yeah, in Mexico was a a, a big thing. It I, it wasn't my person, my favorite. Yeah, I, I mean I like the songs more, like but it wasn't. I wasn't I'm never a fan of him at all whatsoever. I like more Madonna. I know yeah. you don't like her. But, but I mean, I mean she, she cannot sing. That's the only problem. But I mean, she's a good entertainer, I think. She's an artist, yes. But what I like about her, I remember I have a neighbor at that uh, moment. He had like 30 something years old and he mm. had a lot of uh, uh, videos and, and CDs and everything. Mm. So and he had MTV. Uh, so yeah. in Mexico, and by that, I mean, if someone had MTV, oh, my God, everyone were, were at, her, at his place. Yeah, but it was the same for uh, for us. In France, so he huh? record. He had a whole concert of Madonna. Mm -hmm. So I saw the concert when, um, like, a prayer, and you know, like this. She sings that at every concert. So. No, I know, <laughs> but but in that moment, the, yeah. the, the how she was dancing, it was very provocative. In, uh, imagine in Mexico, like someone dancing with a with a priest and the cross and very sexual. Mm -hmm. So it was. I mean, it's not because. Well, yeah, I was attracted to that, like the way she was provoking mm -hmm. uh, everyone. Yeah, that's, and what, it she was did, really that's good. what she did most of the and, 90s. And, 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 and she's a good entertainer. You're right. Like she dances. Probably she does. She cannot sing much. But all how she was putting together all her concerts, that probably as, as Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. it's what, I mean, Michael, sorry, Michael Jackson, he was talented. He could sing. He could do a lot of things. Plus all the things around the dancers, the lighting, yeah. everything. And and then like the support of the, the video. And and I think like Madonna and Michael Jackson were, were kind of the, the same type of entertainers, uh, except that Michael Jackson was a little bit uh, uh, weirder in a way. Uh, and she was a bit more extravagant and provocative. Like Michael Jackson was not sexual whatsoever <laughs> except except when he was uh, he was sexual in, her, in, in his in, bedroom in, in, <laughs> when he was uh, like you know touching his crotch or whatever but uh while dancing but then there were there were prince and george michael i think these are the four four stars yeah, from prince, the 80s yes beginning of the 90s um and yeah prince was the musician mm -hmm. guy yeah he was like just you could play I, he could play an instrument he could uh, do a concert rain. Could change the track list in any concert, or whatever. Like for Michael Jackson, it was not even possible. Like everything was exactly the same, and maybe he would switch one song for another, or just delete one because they started the concert too late. Mm -hmm. But it was always the same. Um, and even when he did this last, well, before he died, he was re supposedly rehearsing. Even though you can see that he was not doing much, like a, a few weeks before um, before the concert, that it was kind of the same. Same type of uh, production with more money, with a little bit more production. Yeah, more things. But it, 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 it was just imagining the things the, the same way. But I mean, it was efficient. It was really good. But anyway, I was a big Michael Jackson fan. Everybody that knew me knew that I was a big Michael Jackson fan. What, what do you think? It's the most like the thing that you know that no one would know, like a regular person like me that makes you a fan. I, uh, well, I had I had like um, many. Yeah, there are many reasons why you're fascinated by an artist. Mm -hmm. Like many, many different reasons. And uh, but that's what I like. Every time when I think about it, I think it's 
the fact that everything was an event with him, it was really rare. Mm -hmm. He was not like, you know, going to clubs, going to... It was not like every day on the newspaper, every, every, every time you would hear about him, especially when there was no internet, it's because something mm -hmm. special was happening and he was doing, a, a, you know, a, being at the Grammys and, and performing a song. And it was always something very special and you always would bring that type of like... Um, um, energy and and um, awaiting mm -hmm. like you know like you he was on the Super Bowl of course right yeah in 92 yeah yeah the Super Bowl but uh, so every time it was something very like rare eventful and and special so that's what I liked uh, about it because he was working towards that mm -hmm. he, he wanted to be rare and because this is like the stars from before yeah. uh, that's the way we're, that's why we're, they were unapproachable so exactly unapproachable uh, in because a, now in, a, in, in another in, dimension yeah because now in instagram you know when everything uh, yeah, about exactly. everyone yeah and so the, and i mean it's a different era like you know justin bieber started in youtube like uh, they were watching his thing you know him just like getting out there and mm -hmm. becoming a very famous but yeah so i was the michael jackson guy I was also dancing I was can you dance, I was dance? no i can dance right now dance bye <laughs> I, I remember. Right. I remember when it's, we it's met. It's funny. It's funny because like this is like really pop, and uh -huh. it, it was like the only artist that was like mainstream mm -hmm. that I would really listen to. Everything else was really different. Like mm -hmm. I was really into uh, Nirvana, even though you would say uh. it's mainstream in a way. Um, but uh, Guns and Roses. No, I was not into uh. Guns and Roses whatsoever. Um, but everything else was kind of um, a little bit different, not so mainstream. And he was like. The but, most the, but, but what I want to say is like when we met yes. many years ago, yes. I remember in a party you were dancing Michael Jackson or yeah. try to. Yes. <laughs> so can you try for our audience? No, no. For our 21 subscribers? No, I can't. But you know that I part part when I was 16, I participated in the end of year uh, dance school uh, <laughs> program. Like one of my friends in school and uh, in, in high school. He told his mother that had a dance school. Uh -huh. Oh, my friend can uh, do Michael Jackson. And, 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 and. Referring so, to you? So, yeah. So I went to cast there. So yeah, we need just like, you know, like three minutes of Michael Jackson. And it there were all... How like, old were you? They were all students. 16. Oh they, my God. They, they were, you you they, were... They were all students. And old. I was the only outside uh -huh. guy that came in. And I think I did really poorly, actually. So they didn't accept you? No, no, they did. Like I rehearsed with the uh, with the uh, uh, dancing so dance teacher for and us. stuff like that. Dance for us, dance no, for no. me, dance for me, dance for me. I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh. Anyway, so I spent a lot of years like following Michael Jackson and and trying to find videos of him. It was rare to see him on stage also uh -huh. on, on videos. Like you had glimpse sometimes the first two songs when there was the bad tour. You, you could see like the first two songs. You could see a program, and it was not like. You really need to look for it to fi to find something, and and in '96, um, I remember he was doing the history tour. So he released "Half the World" in '79, "Thriller" in '82, "Bad" in '87, "Dangerous" in '91, and the history album in '95, which is was a double album with the best of on CD one and the original album on CD two. Okay, okay. And he did a world tour that he started in '96, started in a, in. A, uh, Czechoslovakia, I think. And um, anyway, I was living in the south of France at the time, southwest of France. Where and exactly? In Toulouse. And he had, uh, I think, two concerts in France, which were, I think, in Paris and then in Nice or the southeast. But there was another one, other ones in Spain and one in Saragossa. Saragossa? Which, yeah, Saragossa, uh, which is like uh, in between... Um, I I will draw a map after. I will, I, I will, I will <laughs> no, show no, you. no, please. I will please I will show you. No, I will draw a map because that's part of my story. Anyway, so it was really expensive to go to a concert, but uh -huh. that was like yeah, that was like uh, by car. It was five hours away, mm -hmm. and you know I, I mentioned like the girlfriend that I had at the time that brought me to the high school degree because oh, uh, the one that uh, she was always mad at you because you were always performing better than her. Well, yeah, and you know I had um my clunches and because I broke my ankle and stuff like that. Well, she, so she had a car. I didn't have a car. And I think I, d I had a little bit of money. And I remember that, you know, the price of the tickets were really expensive. It was like um, 250 francs at the time, which is like, uh, 
I guess, $40, uh, uh-huh. which was really expensive uh, 25 years ago. Like the what? Sorry, I couldn't hear. $40, maybe? Yeah, 50? but what? What? what was costing for the you? ticket? Oh, the, the, the ticket! The wow. ticket, the, the yeah, ticket yeah, for yeah, the concert, yeah. and and we didn't have any. And usually it would go sold out. Uh-huh. I said, but I think they still release some the day of the concert. They hold some, so yeah, she said. She, so she said, like, w- why don't we just like drive there? Uh-huh. Uh, let's go to Spain because I knew it was probably the, one of my last opportunities to see him because mm-hmm. I didn't see him in previous concerts. He was really rare. And the truth is, he never did any concert after that anyway. Uh-huh. So um, I said, okay, let's go. And I think three days before uh-huh. we, we were supposed to go, uh-huh. her car broke down. And she said, I cannot pay for the repair. I have to sit on it. We cannot go. And in my mind, I was like so waiting impatiently to, to get there. To I was like, there. no. No, no, no. In my mind, it was I, I was already going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's horrible when you are you uh, have you have plans, yeah. and all of a sudden they are not happening that way, especially in a trip. And something, and especially something, something so special. It's not like oh, we are going to the beach yeah, in one yeah, yeah, month. Yeah. Even if you're feel tired and you really want to go to the beach, you will have over opportunity. The beach will be here yeah, yeah, yeah. most likely, right? This is about going to see like one of the most uh, prestigious, uh, famous. Uh, artist in the in the world uh-huh. it's a one-time opportunity mm-hmm. and i was like okay so i have no car i'm going to take the train but at the time but your girlfriend stay she didn't go yeah yeah him? she couldn't go so because she need to pay for the car now so anyway um so i decided mm-hmm. so i'm going to check the train tickets mm-hmm. even though i wasn't really sure so this was like at the time internet existed but you have to know guys that not you have a, to know. Not every company was at a website where they could sell everything. No, you had internet for, for information yeah. and stuff like that, but you could not purchase train tickets or things like that or online yet. No, so you need, you you need, need to, to get go. to the okay. train station. Yeah. So I went there and they said, oh, you want to buy a train ticket between France and Spain, uh-huh. which are two different... Countries? T- yeah, well, and, and <laughs> companies uh-huh. that really like... So it was possible, but you, I could sense that it was really com- complicated. complicated. Uh-huh. And anyway, she finds me a train ticket and, and I buy it. Mm-hmm. And I buy it for the night before the concert. You bought it. Yes. So, so I will travel the night uh-huh. before the concert so I can arrive uh, early enough at the stadium. So you don't the, pay an hotel. Where the, yeah, exactly. I don't pay an hotel. I go early enough to own my place because otherwise I would be way in the back, back. and and also to find a ticket uh-huh. because I didn't have any ticket for the concert. And so that was the whole like expedition That thing. is like a chronicle for a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A chronicle. Uh, so, so you have the most famous artist that is going to a town in Spain that he never performed before. You don't have any ticket. Uh-huh. You know that people are sleeping there three days before, in advance, in advance and, and I need to take a train, uh, which uh, apparently weren't sure if it was feasible or not. So I pay for it. So I have to do a little parenthesis because you were telling me, like you have to know something that in France uh-huh. at the time in 92, uh-huh. it was the, I think the first country or the first people in, and it was just happened to be in France that started a magazine. Uh-huh. And you know, always like magazine about Michael Jackson. It's because, a, like a whole because magazine that, yeah, yeah, just, just for, for him, like market. every quarter. And they were following him on tour. And so they would have photographer and they like, would expla- yeah, yeah. explain their experience during, in the concert. So I was reading that all the time for the past three or four years about this magazine that we only had in France, about these fans that were able to create a magazine and share their experience with everybody. A stalker. So for, for fans, like it was a huge deal. Mm-hmm. And they were able to meet him. They were able to work with him. Uh, little by little, they, mm-hmm. they, they actually started a collaboration with him. So they, for fans, they were highly regarded because it was like, yeah. oh my God. A imagine, different approach. Imagine, imagine if you were like a huge Madonna fan in the, in the, the late, late 80s. Mm-hmm. And you say, I'm going to start a magazine. I'm going to follow her on every, every concert that she does, take pictures. I mean, you need to have money yeah, to do that. Yeah, we, I, I guess, yeah. They need to start somewhere. I guess, no. Like, yeah. imagine if you would, like, you like barely could pay for the train ticket 
in yeah, that yeah, in know, that I period know. like yes, now yes. it's easier probably yes but yeah you yeah, know it was it like i i literally had like no money just like a little bit of savings for that and the only money that i had for the ticket was the actual face price of the ticket <laughs> not the black market <laughs> type of ticket uh-huh. um and so we had this magazine so they had a lot of anecdotes mm-hmm. that were nowhere um you know not you could not find them anywhere but in this magazine mm-hmm. and it was in french and people every in other countries uh-huh. didn't have access to it mm-hmm. it was really really the early stage of uh, of internet and not every, every not everybody was there so the time comes i pack my backpack to go uh-huh. to spain by myself with food we are on my uh 19 year old um ass uh, <laughs> uh-huh. to uh to to spain by myself taking the the train so now i do have to draw a map because because okay first because. of all do you know your multiplications no do you know your multiplications no seven times seven 49 oh good <laughs> ah! that's good okay that's good that's really good Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm good at something. <laughs> Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. This is sponsored by no one. <laughs> Please sponsor us. We need sponsors. We need followers. We need views. But most importantly, we, n- we need likes and comments. <laughs> so please, I am using this moment that Pepe, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. He, he's okay. Put, I'm re- he's putting I'm ready. dots. I'm ready. I think he's he's mar- he's marking what he had sex no. during this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, so guys, this is Spain, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you, thank you. I didn't know that Barcelona and was in this Spain. This is France. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Why inter comillas? So Why inter I was living, I was living, here in Toulouse. See. In the top right here. That's the south of France. That's Atlantic Ocean. That's Mediterranean Ocean. That's Spain. That's Toulouse. And that's the border. Okay. The border between France and Spain. Uh-huh. Mountains. Okay. <laughs> so so Mountains? the train the train doesn't go across. It doesn't go like so this. So stop? You have to go. The train ticket that I bought was to go south of France. Uh-huh. Barcelona. Saragossa. Oh, easy. Easy. Easy uh-huh. peasy cover girl. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know that. How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Si, si. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I see the number, the train number on my ticket. Uh-huh. I go on the train station. I look at the train. It's the same, same train number. What do I do? I get on it. Uh-huh. I reserve my spot. Uh-huh. You know what happens when you reserve your spot in a train in France at the time? You had your name on the seat. And so I had my name on the seat. So I'm sitting there. So you saw your name? Yeah. Okay. And so I get there and it's 6 p.m. Uh-huh. And I know I'm not going to arrive before I think it was 3, 3 a.m., something like that. Mm-hmm. Because not only you have to get there, but you have like long stops in mm-hmm. between during the night. It's not like normal speed. And so I get on the train. I'm happy. I'm going to see Michael Jackson. Maybe if I get the <laughs> ticket. If I get. Uh, and and I decide, so, well, I'm going to start sleeping. Because, you know, the I might not sleep once I get there. Mm-hmm. So I, I'd rather sleep now. Uh-huh. So I sleep. And an hour later, I have the controller that shakes me like that. Say, uh-huh. Give me your ticket. Uh-huh. So, oh, okay. Yeah, here's my ticket. And I'm just waking up, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, oh man, I didn't know I would be bothered so early. I give my ticket. Uh-huh. I can't trust it. Uh-uh, this is not the right train. <gasps> I'm like, well, Where were you yes, going? I'm going to Saragossa. See? I'm just, no, no, no. This is not the right train. Like, your train is supposed to go to Saragossa via the east uh-huh. side. Uh-huh. And we're going the west side right now. We're, we're not going to Barcelona. We're going to Irun. Which is the other? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So show show us your map. Yeah, but so yeah. this is what I w- where I was supposed to go, and the guy is telling me that I'm going this way. Mm-hmm. So instead of going like that, I'm going like this. Mm-hmm. And of of course you have train changes and stuff like so that. Like the, it's not the, the same train the whole way. Yeah, but what about the dots? What the dots? So so when he tells me that, I am I think 
right here. Uh-huh. Wakes me up. Uh-huh. I'm right here. Uh-huh. And I tell him, no, I'm, look, look at my name and stuff. Like, I, I don't care. They, they, they made a mistake. This is not your train. You need to get out at the next stop. And what happened? I was, I was past this. And say, tell me to get out. And, and, you know, I just woke up and I don't have like the fighty mood in me mm -hmm. to say, okay, let me in. Like, seriously, I paid my ticket. I'm not going to go back. I missed my train. Not only I missed my train, but... I have an event tomorrow. Uh -huh. There's not like a, a train every hour. Uh -huh. There's not even one every 24 hours that is doing this. this so rope. if I miss it, I miss it. Uh -huh. I'm done. Like I miss the concert. I miss everything. And he said, no, you need to get out on the next stop. And the next stop is Lourdes. Uh -huh. Lourdes, right Lourdes? here. Yeah, Lourdes. That's where you have the, um, the miracles in France. It's a yeah, yeah, Catholic. Yeah. Uh, the water? Yeah, the water. Exactly. So I get out at the next station. I get out. Duh. I get out. The problem is you, that you are not Catholic. I and go. You don't I go at the train station. I ask her. Ask her. Look, this is my ticket. They told me to go out. And then, no, no, this was the right train. You should have stayed in. Uh -huh. And I'm like, but, but they just told me to get out. No, you should have stayed in. Say so when is the next train? And they tell me tomorrow. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. <gasps> Say, but that would be too late. I need to get the tickets. I mm -hmm. need to get there. And, and, and I don't even know if there's a connection. Yeah. And said, no, no. Like the only thing you can do is try to catch up the train you just got off of. <laughs> I was like, what? Say, yeah, that's the only way. Or you just go back home. Like there's no other way. Uh -huh. So from that moment, I was like, I need to catch up this train. Right now. Hitchhiking. Super right now. Hitchhiking. So the highway is going like this. Tarb, uh -huh. Po, Bayonne. Uh -huh. That's the highway, right? Uh -huh. This is what is taking less time to do things. Uh -huh. Lourdes, convenient, conveniently, Lourdes, uh -huh. right here, uh -huh. is 30 minutes from the highway. That means that yeah, I need, yeah, to, yeah. I need, I need to find somebody that is going to the highway. Uh -huh. And I am like livid at the time. Uh -huh. I'm like, I'm right here. Uh -huh. All of these are little small roads to get to the highway. Uh -huh. I need to find somebody that get there. And I'm asking people at the parking of the train station. And I'm like, okay. And, you know, I'm, I'm committed. I'm like, I need, I need to do this. Take me to the highway. I have no other... Or like, now I'm awake. I have no other way. And yeah, I found, like, old ladies. And I tell, I tell them a story. They just get me out. And then it was the right train. And now I need to catch it up. And, 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 um, and I wanted to catch it up at Irun, right here in Spain, right mm -hmm. after the border. Uh -huh. Because he was making a stop here for an hour or something. So you have more so, time. Yeah. So that was my goal. Uh -huh. At the time, we didn't have a cell phone, an iPhone or whatever. It was just like, okay, this is what is going to happen. So a few uh, old, old ladies uh -huh. tell me, okay, we're going. They go out of their way uh -huh. to drop me at the, the toll, at the toll of that way. Because uh -huh. the toll station is the only time where people stop. Yes, where so you, you can, can actually, actually try. For a ride. It's illegal. You cannot do that. It's illegal? It's illegal to do that. No. But Why? Because they don't want people uh, asking anyway, and people asking and, for help. <laughs> and, the, and the highways in in France, you know, they are like they always like well maintained, and people go very fast. So mm -hmm. it's only at the tollway. So they drive me there. It takes forever, honestly. Like they drove really slow, and in my mind, it's like I need to catch up. I need to catch up, and everything seems super slow with them. But they were old. And they, they were old. Okay. And they finally, like, very nicely, honestly, like, very, very nicely, Did they dropped me off at the toll. At the toll. Uh -huh. That makes them pay to turn <gasps> back, turn back around. So not a lot, but still, like, it's very nice yeah, yeah, gesture. Yeah. You should have to ask them, like, can I have more money for my ticket? <laughs> <laughs> and then... I each hike there. Uh -huh. And as soon as I start, one guy that is in the tollway booth... Uh -huh. Tell me, no, you cannot do that. It's illegal. We're going to call the police and I get out of the way. I have nowhere else to go. I'm in the middle of the freaking toll, uh -huh. the highway. So where were there your thoughts? There's one guy. There's one guy. My thoughts are like, I'm, I'm committed. Like, whatever happens, I'm doing it. I'm yeah. doing it. And one guy stops uh -huh. right after. Uh -huh. Young guy takes me. Uh -huh. The are guy was speeding like crazy. I thought I was going to die the whole thing. The whole trip speeding a speeding speeding he was going like 130 miles or something like that 
the uh -huh. whole like trying to well, train you, to impress you me. You wanted or... to get fast, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you were you were like so mad. Well, not mad, but I know it. But the fact that the old ladies were super yeah, and old, it, and it took a like while before slow. somebody stopped to get <clears throat> me. Actually, like mm -hmm. I think it took like 20 minutes uh, or 30 minutes. So I was like, in my mind, it was tick tock, tick tock, yeah, tick yeah. tock. Okay, I need to catch up this train. I have no other way. There's no other train. So the guy <clears throat> takes me, goes very fast. I'm scared. I'm, oh, I'm, <laughs> to I, die before. I, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But at the same time, I have this weird satisfaction and scare <laughs> at the same time mm -hmm. because he goes fast. So that's good for me. Yeah. But I'm so scared of the way he's, he's driving. And <clears throat> he drops me off in Po right here. And because that's where he's, he's living. So uh, it, I, tell, I tell him to... to Because, you know, you can drop off at, you have an exit and the uh -huh. toll at the exit. Uh -huh. And I ask him to, to, to drop me off in the middle of the highway. Well, not in the middle, at the toll, but he's in the middle of the highway, not the one that is at the exit. Because yeah. otherwise I have to walk back, walk back. or try, like it's, it's, it's not, logistics. It's not, it's not, it's not fun. And it takes time to walk, actually. Uh -huh. So he drops, really? me off, he drops me off at the last toll uh -huh. uh, before his exit. And then... I hitchhike again, and then you have a guy in a, um, how do you call that, you know, the Ford Transit? The, it's not a van, how do you call that? U utilitaries? Like the Amazon truck. Tr oh, okay, yeah, vans. Yeah, vans, yeah. <laughs> so the, a guy, like, I think I didn't wait long. The uh -huh. guy stops, uh -huh. and it says CRS, which is, uh, I think it's like the, the raid. It's when you have, like, protest in France. Or uh -huh. things like that. This uh -huh. is like the type of police with the protection. It's a special, oh, okay. special it's division special of division. the police. Okay. And I look in the back in his van and he has like all bicycles and stuff like that because part of the, their program is to go to schools to teach kids about the signals on the road mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. learn how to find your to way. Yeah, them. and uh, with the signals and stuff like that. Red light, green light, anyway. So they go in France. I had it when I was a kid, too, in the 80s. Yeah, like well, it You had, like, work. a parkour and stuff like that. And then, oh, this is a stop. You need to wait three seconds. And then, uh, three seconds? It's not five? I don't, I don't I can't remember. But anyway, so he has that in the back. So I'm like, okay, I'm with the, basically the police, uh, mm -hmm. right? I'm, you feel I'm, safe? Yes, I'm good. And he's supposed to drop me off. He's, go he's going in Bayonne. He lives in Bayonne, uh -huh. which is right here in the beautiful Basque country, of friends which uh, I love and, and he starts talking and he starts to be uh, very like uh, inquisitive or, or curious or nosy about, about my life and um, and I was like you know and the, the more I talk the more he asked me uh -huh. and then personal stuff like, like oh do you have a girlfriend do you like or do you have a boyfriend Ooh. or do you like things like that like that's really like Weird. Yeah, but it's not like the type of conversation that you know you would. You I would. mean, the way the way he was. How old he was? He was like late forties, I think. Uh, probably he was having his uh, middle age. Uh, I don't crisis know. Crisis, and he wanted mm. to try something but new. But the I was telling him my whole story, mm -hmm. and he was basically telling me, "No, you're never going to get there. Like, you're never going to catch up the train. What are you doing?" No, you should not. You should not try. It's dangerous. It's going to be night soon. Uh, it's going so. To what time was? Uh, what time? So by the time we were there, I think between there, I think it was about uh, eight o'clock, yeah, something okay. like that, eight thirty or nine, and it was in September. So, so it was it, getting it was, darker yeah, soon. It was. It was. It was getting dark, and 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 then the the rest of the of the trip. Mm -hmm. He was like pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. He said, you're never going to, this is not going to happen. You you understand that. that it's this, dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. You're Stay going to with fail. me. Exactly. <gasps> That's what? what he said. Like then he started saying, well, I'll, I'll, you can come to my place, you know, spend the night and then you go back to, to Toulouse because, you know, you're, this is not going to happen. Like whatever you're trying to do right now is not going to happen. <gasps> Ooh, and I said, I smell and, and romanticism. So, so I politely declined. Uh -huh. And... He did not drop it at all. And at the end, as we were getting close to the next tollway, the tollway that was getting to Bayonne, uh -huh. next to his exit, uh -huh. he was telling me, it was not even like asking, he was like, you're not leaving. You're coming to my place now. Saying, no, please drop me off. No, you're coming with me. You're going to my place. And I was starting like to be like scared? kind of scared. 
Kind of, I would be yeah, like no, I was, super I was, scared. I was really, really scared. <clears throat> and and at the toll station, I was looking at the door and everything. Uh -huh. Like when he stopped, like I knew we were getting closer. Uh -huh. So I was not trying to fight back. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, maybe because now I was getting really scared. So uh -huh. I was not like trying to fight back. I was like, okay, well, it's true that it's getting dark just to calm, in, calm, calm him down. down. Uh -huh. Because my plan was to get out as soon as we stop at the toll <laughs> station. Uh-huh. And that's what happened. So I was, I coming down. It's like, oh yeah, you see, I have a nice house, and and you know, and a I, nice bed for yeah, you. No, but exactly. But uh, like, and handcuffs I, and a wig. Okay, well, you know what? Like my imagination was going like crazy. I was like, oh my god, what what I get put myself <laughs> into? And we arrive at the way. He stopped to pay, uh -huh. and I I just get out. Uh -huh. I just like as soon as he he turned on the left uh -huh. to pay. I just like opened the door and get get out and start running, but I had to cross lanes where start <laughs> where where cars were starting. Because and after the, you know after the toll, yeah, once they yeah, pay, yeah, they yeah. just go back yes, to the I highway. Yes, I know, I know, I know. But why you didn't stay there, like in the toll? Like there's people, there's po no, problems. No, because I, I didn't want him to uh, to catch me up, and so I looked up and there was like a um, uh, kind of a gas station uh -huh. or whatever. I didn't even take the road. I went right on the hill, <laughs> straight <laughs> to the gas station. Uh, sorry for interrupting uh, the story, but we just want to let you know that okay. this is going to be the first, the end of the first, first part, part of, of a two-part story. So this week, this is part, part one. one. It's over already. I'm sorry. But you will have part two. But it's very, really, it's really, it's it has been very interesting knowing that part of my best friend because yes. I am learning a lot of you. So if you want to uh, to learn the rest of the story, to know the rest of the story, it continues and next week. Thank you very, very much. much. Bravo. 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 And and okay. see you next week for the rest of the story. Bye. Super right now. Yeah.